Hey guys, my name is Gal and this is another Game Maker tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to to make a game where you can drag an object with your mouse. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to play the game. And here I have an object, I'm clicking it and I'm dragging it. Now right now there is a bug that if I go into another object, the other object disappears. But I'm going to show you how to fix it as well. So the first thing I'm going to do um, is to create this sprite, which I already did, so I'm not going to do again. And then I'm going to create an object, OBG block, and I'm going to give it a sprite. Now, I already made the code, but I'm just going to delete it, so I'm going to show you how to do it right from the start. And I also have a room with one of the objects. Well, there were two, but now there is one. And that's it now let me show you how to do it the first thing we're going we are going to do in the create event we are going to make a variable a boolean variable and if you don't know what a bo boolean variable is it's basically a, a variable that can only be false or true and this is going to be the boolean that is going to call be called selected and it's going to be false at the start and uh, using this boolean we are checking whether the object is already being selected or not and obviously when the game starts and the object is created it's not selected it's only going to be selected when, it, when the player click it and uh, now we are going to do mouse event left button this is uh, like a, a mouse check so every time uh, the player click on the, the object uh, this event will happen using the left button of, it, of the mouse and move object and let me show you something real quick if I do this x show me mouse x y equal mouse y and I play the game it works but it's not very good because if I move uh, like really fast it stop moving and we don't want the, this to happen right we want the player to be able to move the, the mouse as fast as he wants so this isn't going to work for us what I am going to do is I'm going to tell it select equal true that's it and now in the step event I'm actually going to do the moving thing so let me change it instead of move and um, select object and in the step event we are going to tell it to move and move object and I'm going to do a x excuse me if selected this basically say if selected equal true you can say it true if you want but there is no need if selected is true x equal mouse x y equal mouse y why and we're going to use this bracelet so it will be all all this block will happen if it's selected and let me show you that it work see it work the problem is if i release my mouse it doesn't stop so what i need to do in order to fix this it's going it's go it's to go to the mouse global mouse um, global left release by the way you can do this only in gml in the step event if you want which i would actually recommend but in this tutorial i choose not to do so but you can do it you can totally do it and release or release select and all i'm going to do is selected equal size selected equal first i'm not sure this is how we type selected I will just copy paste it and that should be it pretty much see now when I release the button it actually stopped moving now as I said there is a bug in the uh, in the, this system it's if I place another object which is the same kind and I run the game and I go for this object to this object the other object disappear now it, it doesn't actually disappear it's just that right now I'm selecting both of the objects and they both have the exact same X and Y so it's look like I'm uh, choosing one object so in order to fix this um, what you need to do is to make sure that 
once you have a, an object selected, you can't select another, another object, not until you release the first object. Um, I think this is pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> so let me show you how to do it. It's again, it's fairly simple. What we are going to do is actually use a global variable. And let me show you global. Um, you can call it whatever you want. I just uh, do it uh, can select. And I'm going to do it true. So when the game starts, the player can select an object. And now in the left button, when you select an object, I'm actually going to do... Uh, should I do it here? No, I should do it in the step event. And I'm going to do uh, if selected, also do global dot can select equal fail. So now the, the object won't be, so now the player won't be able to select again. And when you release the button, scan select equal to so we can select again and I think it should work I mean I see no reason why not let's see okay oh it still happens why does it still happen uh, sorry oh no this this should work oh of course sorry in the left button event we should make sure that that you can select right because right now it, it selected even if it can, if it uh, can select is uh, is false, it can still do it. So what we need to do is do if global can select, and again this is like make saying that it's equal true, and because there is one command we don't need to use, we can do it like this if we want. But there is no need because it's just one line, and now I'm one sense you that it's going to work. Let's see. All right, and I can choose this, this, and yeah, it worked perfectly. And that's it guys, now you can uh, drag your object around and <laughs> go crazy with it. And that's it, I hope this will help you in whatever game you are planning to do. And again, if you have any questions, something you want to learn, you are more than welcome to ask and I'd be happy to help. And thank you for watching.